Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do Cora's one month update today. Uh, almost a month, so on the 11th, she will be one month old. Probably when I'm posting this. Um, but let me give you a shot of her first before we get started. Looks like her hair's coming out just a little bit. Definitely lighter hair than my other two. Um, and I was looking back and Kane had super dark hair and Mila had more of this um, color hair. So maybe she'll have light hair. Mila's is kind of light, kind of dark, kind of brown, kind of blondish. So maybe she'll have um, hair like that. But let's get started with her update. So she's one month as of the 11th and she is a little bit of a mess <laughs> she's super super go with the flow which is great but right now we're having a problem with her feedings so she was spitting up a lot so i switched her formula to the gentilies and now she's not spitting up but she only takes two ounces which is normal but before she was taking like three to four but she was also spitting up, so I could have not been, I could have been giving her too much. Um, but now she is hungry every two hours, like on the dot. So that's what we're, we went back to doing. And so far so good. She has not spit up in a few days, um, which is good because projectile vomiting is a mess. <laughs> and everywhere, and you have to bring a million clothes. So... We're good now, hopefully, knock on wood. Um, Kane has a doctor's appointment on Tuesday, so I was gonna double check with the pediatrician that everything is okay. I never had one that spit ups quite so much, but as of this week, we are doing good with that. Um, so she is eating every two hours on the dot. Um, if I do give her more, she won't take it or she will spit it up. So I've been sticking to two ounces ever since. Um, and it's powder, not the ready-made. She started on ready-made and since have switched her because it's a bit expensive. Um, as for her schedule, as I said, she's eating every two hours. She will, um, take a nap in between. There's no nap schedule right now yet. She's just very sleepy all the time, which is still newborn sleepiness. She is awake for a good portion, but she does sleep quite a bit. As for bedtime, she usually goes to sleep. I can tell like her going to bed is about nine, nine-ish. Cause we put the kids down at eight, 8.15, which is our new schedule with them. And it is working out perfectly. Knock on wood again. <laughs> um, and then right after that, I give her a bottle and she um, wants to be rocked to sleep, which is totally fine with me. And I rock her and I'll put her in the boppy lounger which is right here and she's kind of out for a good solid maybe four hours maybe three just depends on the day I guess um her longest stretch was five hours and I woke up in the middle like wait a minute I feel too refreshed <laughs> um but for the most part she'll do like three to four hours and then she'll need a bottle and a diaper and swaddled back up and I put her back in the lounger and she goes to sleep. Um, she does take a pacifier. So we have the, uh, weapon up pacifier and it, I love it because it just sits on her chest and if it comes out, she, it doesn't fall out and roll around. It just pops out a little bit and then she figures out how to put it back in. So she's good and nights are good. I think I'm just used to being up, um, from my second, child being up <laughs> and my first because she was getting up a lot too um so nights aren't too rough for myself personally but um as for her clothing and diapers she's still in newborn clothes and she's still in newborn diapers um nothing has changed there sleepers are getting a little tight long ways or it could have just been one of oh mila showing you the diapers could have been one of the um ones I bought was just a smaller version but that's that's about it as of now her eyes are still blue which they always I assume are always blue um 
and her hair is like a light brown and when you wash it it looks more of a I wouldn't say blonde but it is definitely lighter um, than my other two so that's fun as for myself postpartum I'm doing great I have my jeans on <laughs> and I'm feeling great I think the DNC had a lot to do with it um, bleeding wise and all of that and my um, stomach kind of going back which is super nice no more night sweats which are awesome because I hate the night sweat time and it's so terrible but that's over bleeding's almost over pants are on which are so awesome feeling back to myself emotionally doing super super great we have a little performer here <laughs> um but overall so doing super great and uh, definitely nothing like i had with mila and uh, and kay and i didn't have any postpartum but that is that that is our one month update i cannot believe it's been one month but it also feels like it's been a hundred months. <laughs> that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. One more shot, baby Cora.